Hey guys, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be ranking all of the cream and liquid blushes in my collection. So before we get into it, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel before you leave. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy and let's get into it. So I have 15 different formulas to rank. I have no idea how that happened. Cream blush isn't even one of my favorite products, but here we are, we have 15 formulas. So let's just hop into it. Coming in at number 15, and one that I'm actually going to be getting rid of is from Burt's Bees, and this is the Color Nurture Cream Blush in the shade Strawberry Cream. So I've heard a lot of people mention their powder blushes. I haven't heard much about their creams, and for good reason. This just completely dried up on me. I don't think I got to use this twice. Um, it's just completely, completely dried up. So this one definitely ranking at the bottom because it's completely unusable. Coming in at number 14 is another drugstore formula and this is from e.l.f. This is their putty blush and I think I have the shade Bora Bora. So this one is fine. It blends out really nicely. It has really nice pigment to it as well. This is definitely a brighter shade and it does kind of feel like a mousse kind of texture when you blend it out which is nice. But the thing is I just I do not find these last very long. I've heard a lot of people say really really good things about these. I think they're fine. I just I prefer something a little bit more long wearing. Coming in at number 13 from Merit I have their flush balm cheek color and I have the shade cheeky and I have the shade Beverly Hills. So I love a lot of products from Merit so this one is cheeky and this one is Beverly Hills. But the thing with these is that they are very sheer. So these are more for that sort of no makeup makeup day or just really, really light makeup. And often enough, I am I use a little bit more than that. So for me, I just find these are a little bit too sheer and I find they're a little bit too easy to blend away. I do think they're a really nice formula if you prefer a really light wash of color. I think these are really really nice. They're definitely high quality. Their new packaging feels so much more luxurious. I think these are really nice. The shades are really really pretty. It's just they are a little bit more sheer for my taste. Coming in at number 12 is from Milani and this is their Cheek Kiss Cream Blush and I have the shade Nude Kiss. So this one is actually a really nice formula from the drugstore. This one feels a little bit more oily than some formulas, but it is a really nice blush. It is very pigmented as well. This is another one that I like just fine. The price point is great. It is very pigmented, but it does sheer out quite easily. I just, this is another one that I don't feel like has the best wear time compared to some of the others. So for that reason, this one is ranking at number 12, but it is still a really nice formula and their shade range is also really beautiful. Coming in at number 11 is a cream blush I've really had an up and down relationship with, and this is the Tower 28 Beach Please Cream Blush in the shade Magic Hour. This does feel like a bit more of a cream than the Milani. It's a little bit thicker a lot more pigmented. That pigment is beautiful. That shade is beautiful. It's definitely got a glow to it. So if you're looking for a very matte blush, this probably won't be the one you like best, but this is really, really nice. I think the only reason I am ranking it a little bit lower is simply because it does get those weird sort of bubbles on the product. And so I'm not 100% sure if this is still good, if that means it's gone off. I really don't know. I've heard a lot of people say that about these blushes as well as the bronzers so let me know down below if you know should I just be getting rid of this one if so that's really unfortunate because this blush did that to me within six months of owning it so that shelf life to me is definitely way too short I do expect my cream products to have a shorter shelf life but this one was way too short if that's the case if that's not the case and it's still fine then this is still really good. I love the pigment. I think the shade range is really, really pretty. It blends very easily and it's a really nice cream blush. Coming in at number 10 is, I think this might've been my very first cream blush formula that I tried out. And this is from Fenty. This is their Cheeks Out Freestyle Cream Blush in the shade Petal Poppin'. So this is a really, really 
pretty bright pink, really pretty for spring. This one is also very, very pigmented, very easy to blend, it looks so pretty on the skin. And what I like as well is it almost feels like a bit more of a powder when you put it on the skin and you kind of blend it out. It's got a certain it's almost got like a moussiness to it, which I always really like in my products. I love when my cream products have a moussey kind of texture where they're a cream to powder sort of situation. I love that. So I really do like this formula. I think it's really pretty. It's just that there have been a lot of formulas that have come out since that I think are so good. Coming in at number nine is from NYX and this is their Sweet Cheeks Soft Tint Blush Mousse and this is in the shade Baby Doll. So this one is unique because it comes in sort of like a lip gloss tube and it sort of has a lip gloss applicator which I find interesting. This is also very pigmented. You do not need a ton of this. Very, very pigmented but this is also really, really pretty, really easy to work with and I just really, really enjoy this formula. Again, I don't get as much use out of liquid blushes, which is why this one is ranking a bit lower, and because it is so pigmented, I do think I get a little bit intimidated by it, but as far as drugstore cream blushes and liquid blushes go, this one is very, very good. So if you're looking to try one out and you're looking for one that has a lot of pigment and will probably last you forever, I would recommend trying this one out. It is really nice. I don't tend to go for liquid blushes a lot, but this one is pretty good. Coming in at number eight is the LYS Higher Standard Satin Matte Cream Blush Formula. So I have three shades in this. I got these in a shade during the holidays. I think these were a limited edition to that set, but I have the shade Empower, which is a deeper shade, kind of like a deep berry. I have Grateful, which is a really, really nice kind of mauve blush. So that is the shade Grateful, which is really, really nice. And I also have the shade Unforgettable, which is definitely a more brighter kind of corally pink. So as you can see, very, very pigmented. You do not need a lot when it comes to these. They are quite bold, but they do blend out really easily. I really do like these and the price point is completely fair, which I love. I think this is probably one of the best cream formulas at Sephora. If you're looking to try something from Sephora with a fair price point, I would recommend trying these out. I do think they are really, really nice. Coming in at number seven is from Flower Beauty and this is their Blush Balm. I have this shade Pinched. These are such a nice formula and I feel like they're kind of underrated. I feel like at one time they might have been talked about a lot more than they are now, but they really are a nice formula. This one is definitely a little bit more sheer than the NYX, which I kind of like when it comes to a liquid blush. I would prefer the opportunity to build. Kind of the opposite issue of the Merit blushes. I find them too sheer. The NYX I almost find too pigmented. This is a really, really nice middle ground. So with the Merit, I think they're just very sheer and you can't really build them much. The NYX, it is so easy to do too much. These are just a really nice middle ground where they're a little bit more sheer, but they still have a lot of pigment, but it is easy to sheer it out if you do get too much. So I really like these. That's why this one ranks higher than the NYX. I like them both, but because this one is a little bit more customizable, I do like this formula better. Coming in at number six is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Beauty Light Wand High Blush, and this is in the shade Pinkgasm, so I do have a mini. I really do love this formula. This is such a pretty, pretty shade. Very, very glowy though, and that's why this one is ranking a little bit lower. I think this is absolutely beautiful. I think the color is stunning, but I don't really necessarily love a blush that is that glowy. I think these have a nice pigment. It's not too much, but it's not too sheer. And the tone and the shade is really, really beautiful. It's just I don't love something that is too, too glowy because this one, this one will bring out some texture if you have it. So for that reason, this one is ranking a little bit lower, but still pretty high. 
this is a beautiful formula. Coming in at number five is a fairly new blush formula. This is from Danessa Myricks, and this is the Yummy Skin Cream Blush with Upsolite Technology. So the packaging just looks like this. And this is in the shade Rosé and Brunch. This is a very, very creamy formula. And let me tell you, this is the most pigmented cream blush. I mean, I have some pigmented cream blushes here, but this one is by far the most pigmented blush. You have to be very careful when you dip into this to not get too, too much. Like, two dips with a brush is going to do both cheeks, honestly. But the thing that is nice about this formula is that it is incredibly long-wearing. For a cream blush to last all day long, I just think that is so impressive and so uncommon that... This is really, really good. This gains major points for that. And it's supposed to be like a blurring formula as well. And I do find it definitely does have a certain blurring quality. It almost sort of feels like a cream to powder when you put it on the skin. So I do quite enjoy this formula. I think it's wonderful. I think she did a really, really good job with these. Coming in at number four is actually a cream and powder duo, but I needed to mention it. This is from Patrick Ta. This is the Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duo. So I'm only really talking about the cream. And this one is in the shade She's That Girl. So you're supposed to, with these, put the powder down, put the cream on top which I think adds major points to this in general because that's a really unique type of formula and they work beautifully. And when you do that, these last all day long. They're very blendable, very pigmented, but very blendable, easy to work with, so fun to use. I really, really do enjoy this formula. I think Patrick Todd did such a great job. Obviously, you can use them together. You can use them separate, but I do think this is a wonderful, wonderful formula. Coming in at number three is from Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Matte Beauty Blush Wands. These are stunning. So I do have a review up of all three of these. So these are very, very pigmented, very beautiful, very expensive, but they are really, really nice. So these are the shades we have Pillow Talk, we have Peach Pop, and then we have Pink Pop. The only one that kind of throws me is Pink Pop because it kind of looks more peachy to me. So I don't really understand that, but I will say this is such a nice formula. And even though it calls itself a matte blush, it actually really just mimics the finish of your foundation. So if you're wearing a glowy foundation, these will come off a bit glowy. They're not going to be incredibly glowy like this one, but they are going to have a bit of a glow if that's what your foundation does. If you have a matte foundation, these are going to look a little bit more matte. So I think that is a really interesting feature of these. I think these are so flattering on the skin. You don't need a ton, but they blend out beautifully. They look so, so pretty on the skin. They are just so easy to work with. They're pigmented. They're everything I want in a liquid formula. This is definitely my favorite liquid formula as much as I don't want it to be because they are so pricey, but I really do love this formula. Coming in at number two is a very, very new formula to my collection, but it is one I kind of fell in love with right away. And this is from Rose Ink. This is their lip and cheek color in the shade Delphine. So this is a really beautiful peachy shade. Again, that perfect middle ground between being pigmented, but, but customizable. So you can get a lot of pigment right away, but you can also build it. It's just very, very user-friendly, very easy to work with, looks so pretty on the skin. It just, it looks incredibly, incredibly seamless. So I've really been enjoying this one for that reason. To me, cream blushes are a little bit more tricky to work with than powders, but this one never ever makes me feel that way. I love this formula and it's incredibly long wearing as well. That is what my top five formulas have in common is that they are incredibly long wearing. And coming in at number one is my all time favorite cream blush formula. And this is from MAC. This is their glow plate blush in the shade blush, please. This formula I love. So it is very unique. So it's like a cream, but when you put it on the cheeks, it sort of morphs into a powder, which is so interesting. This shade is one of my all time favorites. It goes with everything and it's so long wearing, it's so easy to work with, it's so 
blendable. It looks so seamless on the skin. Again, it kind of just looks like a powder. And I feel like it's also got blurring quality similar to the Danessa Myricks as well. It's just so flattering on the skin. I love this blush formula. This is one that I definitely want to buy more shades, but at the same time, I love this shade so much. I don't know if I need to, but if I was in the market for another cream blush, I would definitely go for the MAC or the Rose Ink. And that is it. That is 15 cream and liquid blush formulas ranked. I love a lot of these. I have a lot of really great liquid and cream blushes, even though that isn't my go-to type of formula. But there is a lot of really, really wonderful formulas out there. So that is it for me today. Let me know down below what are your favorite cream and liquid blush formulas. I've wanted to try out the Honest Cream Blush for a long time because I've heard a lot of people talk about that one, but let me know down below if you have any other recommendations. That is it for me today. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing before you go. I do upload at least three new videos every single week. Thank you again so very much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!